Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master the Zim Tech Guy. So in this video, I want to show you how to add numbers and decimals in a one word document. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, hit the thumbs up button. Now, this is a very tough one for many people. For some reason, you can't happen to find a very simple tutorial on how to add decimals and uh, numbers on one document. So we are going to do that. So as you can see here, I have uh, just a six page document. There's the cover page, table of contents, would go there, your table figures will be there, uh, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, right? So basic setup for your dissertation will be something like this. So what we want to do is that uh, the first, I think the table of contents, and the table of figures we want to add decimals and uh, chapter one to chapter three we want to add numbers so to do that let's just um come to uh here where it says table of figures now for you for this to work you need to understand sections let me just turn on this uh show height table characters all right now i want to add uh, a section here because uh, it will actually make it easier. you see as time goes on. So we just want to put our castle right here where it says table. No, actually I want to put it where it says table of contents, just at the beginning there. And uh, I want to come under layout. Here under breaks, just click the down arrow and press continuous. So right now, what this means is that uh, the cover page, it's in its own section, and this will be the preceding section. Now I want to do the same as well for chapter one you see very soon. Uh, now chapter one, I'm just going to put the cursor before the chapter one and again, go under breaks, click the down arrow and click continuous. Now this is a, another section, right? For us to see which section we're in, um, let me just double click here. As you can see here where the footer is supposed to go. If you go to the first page, uh, the cover page, as you can see, this is section one, if you come here. And this is section two with the table of contents and table of figures. So this would be a section break, which should mean this one is now section three. So what we have, uh, the table of contents and table of figures are section two. All right, you see how, how this will work in the end. Okay, so, all right. So now, you just unclick here. This is the cover page. I want to come to the first page here. All right, so now we need to go to the home tab. Just click on the home tab and uh, we want to just unclick this for now, this show height formatting marks, okay? Now we are on, um, just after the cover page, here we say it's table of contents. Let's just go under the insert tab. Want to insert page numbers, just click page number. Uh, bottom of the page, yes. The alignment, you want it to be centered, just click on that. You can do whatever you want, depending on the nature of your project. And then here, uh, we want to change this to decimals. And here saying continue from previous section. No, we want to start and we want to start at I, which is one in uh, numerals. So you just click that and uh, show on the first page. Click OK. Right. OK. So now we have one, two. Uh, and now it's slipping over into the other sections, but we'll deal with that later. Now, as you can see as well, there is um, on the first page. No, actually. There's one here, and uh, as you can see on the cover page here, we have one here, but we don't want that to happen. So let's just double click on that and just click different first page and that will disappear. Just unclick that. So if you come here, now we have one decimal and then two. Now we need to deal with uh, this part here. All right, now that we're here, as you can see uh, on the first chapter page here, it's actually saying three and we're getting four and five. But that is not what we want so let's see if we can get rid of this and to do that let's just double click here double click on the footer and now here where it says link to previous just click on it right and now let's see if we can delete this just delete it to be deleted on all the pages as well so as you can see, right, now we don't have any page numbers. Now let's try to add new page numbers. Just click Insert, Page Numbers, Page Number, and uh, Alignment, like I said, we want it to be centered. Yes, Show Number on the first page, Format. Now we want it as Numbers. We're not continuing from the previous section, by the way, so we're just going to start at 1, which is the current page, and just click 
OK. And then click OK. And right now, as you can see, yeah, it's starting at 2 and it's going towards 3, but that's not what we want. Let's just go under, um, under File there. Let's go under Page Setup. Yeah, let's just click Microsoft Word. And now we want to click uh, this point onwards and just click OK. Right, so now from this point onwards, as you can see, the number has changed from 1. Now it's 2 and 3. All right, so the basics of just adding decimals and numbers is all about sections. You should know how to work with sections. If you want, let's say, decimals to affect a certain uh, number of pages, create a section. Let's one section to cover those pages. If you want them to affect numbers, create a section to cover those pages. If you enjoy the content of this channel, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, see you in the next video.